it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Look, I am sending my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way. Hey guys, uh, welcome to Branch Together. If you're new, this is a channel where we read and reflect on one chapter of the Bible. We think this is a keystone habit, a habit that when practiced, it changes everything. Uh, so we try to do this every day. We meet here on YouTube and we read together. We reflect. We talk about it. Uh, when we have questions, we put put it in the comments and we try to answer each other's questions and uh, see what God's saying to us all as a big community from all over. Today we're going to be in John chapter four, 14, I think. 14. Yeah, John chapter 14. Uh, it's a good chapter. They're all good chapters. Uh, but before we dive in, I'm going to pray. Lord, thanks for being with us. Um, God, you know that where I'm at in life right now, I'm, I'm just tired and uh, worn out. And uh, amidst that, Lord, I know that you are a rock. You are a, a foundation for us, God. Uh, we can always turn to you and lean on you in our weakness and our struggles. God, I, I pray that you help everyone in this community, wherever we are uh, listening to this today, that you help us to look to you as the rock, the foundation that we build upon, Lord, and uh, help us to put our trust in you and to rely on you. God, uh, shape us into your followers uh, like we want to be. And uh, I pray that this word uh, challenges us and shapes us and transforms us. Be with us today. In your name we pray. Amen. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If not, I would have told you. I am going away to prepare a place for you. If I go away and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you to myself, so that where I am you may be also. You know the way to where I am going. Lord, Thomas said, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Lord, <clears throat> said Philip, show us the Father, and that's enough for us. Jesus said to him, have I been among you all this time, and you do not know me, Philip? The one who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who lives in me does his works. Believe me, that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Otherwise, believe because of the works themselves. Truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do. He will do even greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, I will do it, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever. He is the Spirit of truth. The world is unable to receive Him because it doesn't see Him or know Him. But you do know Him because He remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Because I live, you will live too. On that day you will know that I am in my Father. You are in me, and I am in you. The one who has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. And the one who loves me will be loved by my Father. I also will love him and will reveal myself to him. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it you're going to reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. My Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. The one who doesn't love me will not keep my words. 
The word that you hear is not mine, but is from the Father who sent me. I have spoken these things to you while I remain with you, but the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have told you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Don't let your heart be troubled or fearful. You have heard me tell you I am going away and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father because the Father is greater than I. I have told you now before it happens so that when it does happen, you may believe. I will not talk with you much longer because the ruler of this world is coming. He has no power over me. On the contrary, so that the world may know that I love the Father, I do as the Father commanded me. Get up. Let's leave this place. Okay, so um, I want to just go back to the beginning of this chapter and kind of read through this together. Um, just jump back to the beginning with me. Okay, if you have a Bible, you can pull it out or uh, just listen. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If not, I would have told you. I am going away to prepare a place for you. If I go away and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you you may also be. So, if th- this first part, he's this is the this is the Christian hope, right? That uh, God is preparing a place for us, wherever it is, however however you think about it, uh, there is a a home for us to dwell with God. Uh, those of us who are believers, that is our hope as Christians, uh, and it's wonderful. And then he throws in this amazing line, and he says, you know, to, you know the way to where I'm going. And it's a little bit curious, and you can't really blame Thomas here, because uh, Thomas says, we don't know where you're going, how can we know the way? So, he, he's thinking like you're going to a place and we need the directions. Uh, we need the address. We need to put it into our GPS and be able to find there. And um, Jesus was, I think it's brilliant the way he presented this, that uh, telling them that they know the way. Uh, and and then he says, okay, um, he responds to Thomas saying, uh, we're not sure where you're going. How can you say we know the way? He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So Jesus says, whatever you think about where I'm going, the, the direction, there's a way to get there, and you know it already. And they're thinking that this is a program or a plan or a direction or a location, and he says, no, it's, it's, it's not a specific place you go. It's not, uh, uh, it's not a street address. It's not something you do. The way is me. The way is Jesus. The way to the Father is through a relationship, through knowing Jesus. When you know Jesus, you know the way to the Father because he is the way to the Father. Man, that is so it's just so rich because this is contrary to our default mode as 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 humans i feel like you know we have this idea that we um we earn our way to god and uh you know we we perform good deeds to get to god and really that's the single biggest difference between christianity and other religions is that um you don't earn your way. There's, in fact, no way that you can earn your way. The way to God is through Jesus. It, it is, uh, it's not something that you do on your own. And um, I, that's what makes Christianity so compelling to me because I continually fail and continually mess up. And I know that Jesus offers the way and it's a gift that we can accept and receive. And we follow that way, which is following him. Um, I, I think that's beautiful and profound. 
So um, Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And then he says, if you know me, you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. And then Philip says, show us the Father and that's enough for us. Jesus, I'm not sure how, how he was feeling at this. Maybe he's feeling annoyed, like, you guys should be getting this by now. Um, Jesus chimes in and says, Have I been among you all this time, and you do not know me, Philip? The one who has seen me has seen the Father. How could you say this? How could you say, show us the Father? You're missing the point. And he says, I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. So he's he's communicating uh here that there's just this incredible unity between him and the Father. There's certainly some distinctions, and that's this concept of the Trinity, that Jesus is God, but he's also distinct from God. Also, the Spirit is God, but also distinct from God. Uh, And that's complex, and theologians have wrestled with how to make a model to explain that. And uh, it's not exactly something we can explain, but we do that Jesus is divine, he's God, but he's also man, and, and he walked this earth as a man, and that's the best picture we have of God, is the God-man walking this earth. That's why the Gospels are so important, because uh, they're pictures of Jesus, and you've heard me say that before. Um, yeah, so that's where I wanted to go through. So, so two things. Um, number one, the way to God is not a plan uh, it's it's not a program. It's it's not doing good deeds. It's not finding your inner blah blah blah. It's it's a person. It's the person who is in complete and utter unity with the Father, and that's Jesus. And number two, uh, it's possible to to walk along with other believers even for a long time, like. Uh, like Philip did, in his case, actually in the proximity of Jesus. It's, it's possible to walk in a church and be part of a community and, and not appreciate the fact that seeing Jesus, whether it's in prayers we communicate with him in a relationship or the way we see him portrayed in the Gospels, um, this is actually seeing the Father. And this should make us just want to keep looking and reading and praying and searching and pursuing. And of course, branching together every day, which we're going to close with. Uh, I love you guys. I love doing this. Um, uh, John is a really important book. Uh, Stick with us as we go through this. This next half is um, getting into... Uh, the the book of glory where we see uh, Jesus in what he did, paying the ultimate price by giving his life uh, for us and for those who choose to believe. And uh, it's really important for us to, to see that and grasp that and feel that and understand that. So that's all for today. And we will uh, see you next time on BT. BT.